Hey there, my name is Kagan and on the 19th of November I went to see Jordan Peterson live in Auckland. I had seen this article the week leading up to the event. After attending the event, I thought it was worthwhile revisiting and sharing my thoughts. This is a Scoop Independent News press release for Auckland Feminist Action. Auckland Feminists Oppose Peterson Event. Press release Auckland Feminist Action, Friday 11th of November 2022. Auckland Feminist Action, AFA, is calling on the Auckland Council for the immediate cancellation of Jordan Peterson's 12 More Rules for Life event at Spark Arena on the 19th of November 2022. I wonder why this organisation would want to stop someone speaking their views and how far they would be willing to go to achieve this cancellation. Peterson is a well-known figure in the Manosphere, a group of alt-right communities centred around violent misogyny, transphobia and white supremacy. These are some pretty heavy labels. When it's claimed Jordan is a well-known figure in this group, do they mean he is willingly complicit in their beliefs? Or is it just a way to defame Jordan, with overused and forever expanding labels with the intent to strike outrage into the hearts of any morally sensible person, leaving them disgusted and closed to Peterson's message? We have, like most Western countries, a serious problem with associating political differences, left and right, with good and evil. This dynamic is a manipulation tactic. The line between good and evil runs through the heart of every human being, not through political differences. Also, there is no evidence that Jordan has physically assaulted any woman, nor evidence of a conscious or unconscious prejudice towards them. The same goes for trans people. The association of Jordan to the title of transphobe is his reluctance to bow and accept the dictates of a group that claims the science supports their beliefs and simultaneously claims studies haven't been done because white male scientists are transphobic. Contradiction The consequences of transition, positive and negative, have not been studied long enough to yield meaningful results, and Jordan has never displayed positive sentiments towards any racial supremacist ideas or movements. These ideas are the exact opposite of his message. The association of Peterson to this alt-right manosphere group is nothing more than what we see everywhere these days. An unfound, manipulative play aimed at discrediting and writing off. Here they say, this is especially concerning in light of the rise of extremism and disinformation happening in Aotearoa in recent times. If AFA had their way, I could see everyone that disagrees with them having these labels applied to them, regardless of intent or moral perspective. Okay. By giving Peterson a platform on the scale, the council is complicit in the radicalization of young men in Aotearoa, says Dave, they them pronouns, a member of AFA. First of all, Jordan hired the venue it wasn't given. Secondly, councils are not responsible for advancing or hindering discussion that organizations such as yourselves oppose politically. Apparently we should be taking advice on the radicalization of young men by a trans feminist called Dave. In my experience, the trans and feminist movements are the main culprits in the demonization of men and masculinity. So here they say, He appeals to vulnerable guys who are still working out what it means to be a man. Some of his fans just like his books on a superficial level, but the stuff his hardcore fans say is honestly quite concerning to me as a transgender person. Jordan does appeal to young men. Claiming that you're not evil due to having male genitalia, and that you as an individual are needed, and that your choices do matter because there are consequences, you don't get to not pay a price, is a powerful message. And it's much more genuine and life-serving than the chemical castration, sterilization, and promotion of gender confusion we see coming from the trans community, and the toxic demonization of men in the masculine force we see from the feminist community, all of which is concerning to me as a man. If I were to play the progressive game, which I despise, I could say, as a trans person, you have no right to claim you know what's good for men, only men know what's good for men. It's a stupid argument, but I'm sure many people have encountered it before. The Auckland Council has a good precedence for this. In 2019, the High Court declared that Regional Facilities Auckland, RFA, had the right to refuse alt-right personality Laura Southern a platform due to her promotion of hate speech. Oh, is that right? Earlier I asked why they want to stop Jordan speaking. We have answered that. They don't like what he has to say. As for how far they're willing to go to cancel him? Let's investigate. 
This document AFA links has very little to do with why Laura Southern was not allowed to speak. It seems to be nothing more than paperwork about the financial repayments owed due to the cancellation of the event. Hmm, interesting. Let's look deeper. So this is an official government page. Here we find the case synopsis. This case synopsis is provided to assist in understanding the history of the case and the issues to be heard in the court. It does not represent the views of the panel that will hear the appeal in the Supreme Court. This synopsis does not include the full reasons for the judgment of the Court of Appeal. RFAL is a council-controlled organisation tasked with managing various regional facilities and event centres within the territory of Auckland Council. In 2018, an Australian promoter booked the Bruce Mason Centre, managed by RFAL, for an event featuring two Australian keynote speakers. RFAL and the promoter entered into a venue hire agreement. After the event was publicised and ticket sales commenced, RFAL received various complaints from the public regarding views held by the keynote speakers which had been controversial overseas. In addition to the complaints, a local activist group announced they intended to blockade entry to the venue if the event proceeded. RFAL management decided to cancel the event under the venue hire agreement referring to health and safety concerns they had in relation to the potential protesters. And now we see how far AFA is willing to go. This statement by AFA is a blatant lie, and now we see AFA is willing to bend the truth and betray your trust if it means outing Peterson and his views. How do we know organisations like this won't go further than this? Lies are often just the beginning of a greater deceit. Okay, Auckland Feminist Action is particularly concerned about the platforming of someone with misogynistic and transphobic views, especially in light of worldwide heightened attacks on women's and marginalised genders' self-determination. We've already covered the misogynist and transphobic labels, but this time they attribute them directly to Jordan, not to a group that sees his message as useful and could misrepresent them for personal gain, which is present in many philosophies and political perspectives, but directly to him as a person. Also, it's worth looking into the definition of self-determination. What does self-determination mean? Self-determination means free choice of one's own acts or states without external compulsion. Self-determination's moral value only functions when applied indiscriminately. Often what I see is the progressive left crying out for acceptance of their self-determination, while doing all they can to ridicule, slander, and silence any view or perspective that gets under their skin. Despite my personal disagreement with specific aspects of progressive belief, unless your rights become my responsibility, you do you. That means I also have the right to make my own choices about how I act, and I choose to not believe in a causal group full of lies and contradiction. And here I am, exercising my self-determination by poking holes in your already fracturing narrative. We believe that there should be no room for these hateful views in Aotearoa, says Dave. I think what Dave really means by hateful views is, things we disagree with that we don't like to hear. So, let's read it again. We believe that there should be no room for these things we disagree with that we don't like to hear in Aotearoa, says Dave. I'll leave the conclusion of what this article means up to you. If you like what we do here at Pantheon, give us a like. If you think like Jordan Peterson, we're also misogynistic, transphobic, white supremacist bigots, give us a dislike. And either way, please leave a comment and tell us your thoughts, experiences and beliefs. If you would like to support us, we have a Patreon account. I'll also leave links to all of these materials in the description so you can look for yourselves. Thanks heaps, and I hope you have a good one.